I got involved in cricket simply because my dad used to play and my older brother was also a cricketer so really I had no choice. Uh, I joined a local cricket club with my brother and we spent the summers uh, playing uh, pretend test cricket in the local park so uh, I think it was inevitable I was always going to be involved in cricket. playing cricket in 2012 uh, and in the winter I decided to take my umpiring qualifications. I always wanted to stay involved in the game uh, on a volunteer level so coaching and scoring wasn't really for me so I think umpiring was a great choice. Uh, my dad used to umpire as well so I was probably influenced by that. Uh, how did I get involved in, in umpiring? I went along to my local county association, uh, so the local association of cricket officials, and undertook a uh, education course uh, and uh, acquired my qualification in that winter. In 2013, I joined a local men's league uh, where I was part of an umpire panel and was allocated games. Uh, so that's really how it started for me. The advice I'd give to anybody who wants to take up umpiring is uh, find good people who will give you honest feedback. Enjoy yourself first and foremost out on the pitch. Uh, if you're not enjoying it, then it's going to be a very difficult job. Uh, and uh, yeah, just keep learning. Uh, just be prepared to watch your colleagues, uh, take advice and uh, just keep learning. Every time I go out on a cricket pitch, an umpire, uh, there's always something new. There's always a new scenario. There's always something different to think about. <laughs> my full-time job, I'm very fortunate to work for the England and Wales Cricket Board as a Regional Facilities Planning Manager. What I enjoy most about this role is actually it takes me back to club cricket and it, and it actually helps clubs, uh, I hope the role helps clubs uh, to develop their facilities and improve uh, the services that they can offer to their members. Uh, for me, club cricket is the most important facet of the game. Uh, without uh, clubs up and down the country supporting new volunteers and new players, we wouldn't have the strength uh, in our England teams. Uh, so for me, uh, supporting club cricket is the most enjoyable element of my job. Most memorable uh, umpire on occasion is probably being part of the World Cup uh, umpire team in 2017 in England for the Women's World Cup, uh, with it being a home World Cup uh, and some of the games were at Derby. Uh, I think for me it was kind of like it was uh, probably one of the most special moments really to, to be standing in England in a World Cup. So yeah, that's my most memorable. The It's been a huge part of my life, uh, so to name one moment or experience or achievement would be really difficult. Uh, I think for me, uh, the biggest culmination and the biggest privilege I've had is to be awarded an MBE for my services to cricket, uh, women's cricket. Uh, it was, it was uh, unexpected uh, and uh, it certainly took me by surprise. Uh, but I felt really proud of, uh, you know, making a contribution, uh, a very small contribution uh, to help cricket move forward, hopefully in the women's game. Uh, so for me, the opportunity to receive that award uh, from His Royal Highness uh, Prince Charles uh, was, was a great experience for me and something I never thought uh, would ever happen. So uh, for me, that's probably the greatest moment cricket has brought me. Uh, and without cricket in my life, uh, that certainly wouldn't have happened. So uh, that's probably the most, uh, most enjoyable thing, really, for, from my perspective.